Hello friends, so welcome to all of you in my YouTube channel. So today I discuss an, another important report that is WHO confirm COVID-19 can a be airborne. The report is uh, WHO confirms COVID-19 can be airborne. So let's start the discussion here. <coughs> Our reporter explained that the security staff denied our friends permission to drop in some food as she wanted assume timely means meal to her family member. Nagendra informed her informed her that they need to get permission for the deputy collector to allowed allow food from outside. On the Saturday too, breakfast was served at 9.30 am and the staff however said there were more people coming in and they could not manage the load she said responding to the poor state affairs Andhra medical college principals and COVID-19 and COVID-19 nodal officer PV Sudhakar said they were trying to address the issues at isolation centers however most of the complaints are made due to the frustration it is difficult to address the individual grievances as the complaints are not ready to adjust and some even demand food their choice if there are still genuine cases they are addressed by the center in charge he said meanwhile the rise in the positive cases in throwing a challenge in creating facilities for infectees at COVID-19 hospitals and people quarantine or isolation centers. The district's admissions is going ahead to create the district admission ad, administ, administrations administration is finished here. So now WHO confirmed COVID-19 can be airborne as the coronavirus pandemic wrecks have around the world a question that has often been asked it is airborne or not. This question has already sorry has recently been thrown back into the limelight by a group of 20, 239 scientists from 32 countries who address a letter to the WHO arguing against WHO's guidelines of of corona not being airborne and asking it is reverse its position in the backdrop of mounting evidence that coronavirus COVID-19 in fact airborne in crowded indoor space. WHO has repeatedly brushed off the idea that the coronavirus might be spreading through the air. However, on Thursday, WHO come out with an update version of the guidelines of its March 29 coronavirus brief, formally confirming that the novel coronavirus can remain a remaining air in the crowded inequality and vent ventilated indoor spaces where short range aerosol transmission cannot be ruled out. Thank you friends. In next video, I will discuss the other part of the report. What did WHO say? Thank you.